Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is a quick video on what do you do if you do not have a lot of supplies, you're just starting out, mixed media, art journaling, whatever, and you want a few stencils. So I'm going to show you uh, a really cool thing with Mod Podge and sprays and that kind of thing. It's going to be a quick tip and I will have a video coming up on making your own sprays. You guys keep asking me uh, to update the video. So that's what I will do. Okay. So I have the um, folk art stencil spray right here in hot pink. We'll give it a shake. And what I did was I took Mod Podge and I made some, I don't know how well you can see that, but I made some stencils and i'm going to show you real quick you can't really see over here you could see a little bit here that um it's not all the way dry not a big deal i used my where'd you go matte mod podge which i'll show you in a second and then we have a non-stick mat you can use parchment paper wax paper what have you and then what you're gonna do is lay down some blobs and as you can see here I laid down this kind of blob um, and then I'm gonna show you right here I'm just gonna uh, take this up let's see I need my knife I don't know where's my knife there we go it just takes a second you just want a little corner up and then carefully pull it up boom shaka laka boom now you can see oh my goodness cal where are you you can see um how it needs it's a little milky still so then what i would do is pick it off and let it dry this way up in the air but you can see and i did some and you can see it's also pulling off <laughs> the dirt off of here which not dirt but paint but you can see i did some um little boopies in there and then on this one Again, I just use my nail on that one and I'm picking it up. And if you feel it starting to like rip a little bit, which, you know, it shouldn't pull from a different angle or not as hard. This one's a little thinner, which is fine. Okay. And you can see, and I did a little thing in the middle. So it's a little bit more, <laughs> you can see where my thing's clean. How funny. Um, so you can see it's a little more, you know, oh, I love, see, here's the issue. I don't know. Let's see if you can see here. Look at this. This is all picked up off of my, um, mat, my nonstick mat. And I love, <laughs> I love that. So that's another thing there. Cause I would love to glue that down. That is everything right there. That color scheme. But anyway, you'll see what we got going on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spray and you can use any spray dilutions. Oh my goodness, girl. Uh, folk art. That's when your hands don't work and <laughs> things go flying and I like to put them flat, but it doesn't matter. And this is spraying out like thick because I was using it. That isn't going to work. So we're going to get, where's my other spray? one second it happens like that but you know what to do this is a good thing what to do when this happens is take your paintbrush or you know maybe you have like your uh stencil whatever and go in and just dab it because i mean this happens to everything it happens in with your uh dilutions it happens with your Deco art doesn't matter. You will see the same thing. Okay. And then, oh, my family's. And then look, look at that. So your stencil. So, I mean, turn a uh, mistake into something good. And then if you turn it over, which I love to do. Oh, my goodness, my husband, though. Okay, hon. All right because it never fails okay so then you can turn it over there wasn't much left on there and but you got to do it you got to do it and the same with here i'm just gonna go around because i don't want to have to go my stuff is in the hallway don't ask and uh 
I don't want to have to get up, but look, so you have different, um, you know, ways of doing it. It happens to all of us. It happens to all of us. And I get a lot of new mixed media and uh, art journals watching me. So I love when mistakes happen because then I can just kind of take it and show you, like work with it. It happens to all of us and it doesn't matter the product. Like I said, I've been using this and what happens, I'll tell you real quick for those who don't know. And then look, see how you're getting. And of course you can be more careful of what you're putting down and how you're putting it. Maybe you want to do a word and everything. And I'll show you in one second. Um, but what happens is whatever sprays you're using, whether you make it yourself, whether whatever brand, I've been using this. So what happens is I didn't wipe this when I was done, which you want to do. And it starts to like dry in here. And then when you go to spray it, it like psh, won't spray or sprays all out. And for the most part, I don't really mind if I'm doing an, a mixed media page because I like that kind of gig. But if you want it to be more concentrated, you want to soak it in hot water if this happens and then it should work fine. But you can see it's kind of still coming out. So I really got to get in there. So not a big deal. It happens all the time. That's why it's very important to wipe when you're done. You know what I'm saying. Now you see this. What I also like to do because I'm wacko. And I know a lot of us are wacko and we do this. I like to take a piece of printer paper or whatever paper that you have. And I like to start building my next mixed media paper. So I will do this lift it up. Now look, it lifted up the, uh, so I have this and I'm building on that and that becomes a mixed media paper. And then we have this with this delicious kind of squishiness. So these are fun. I'm going to show you real quick how to make it. Um, make sure you have your nonstick. I have Mod Podge mat. I'm going to open it. And what I like to do is I take the end of my brush or even your brush, depends on what you're doing. And I go in there and do this. And then I just kind of go around and you want it fairly thick. I'm not going to lie. Um, the thinner, you just have to be more careful taking, putting it up. Um, you know, once it's dry, it's not a big deal, but with my hands and if you have any hand issues, it can be a little, um, more patience than I want to have, but it's definitely, you know, not a big deal. So you can do like that or you can write. So let's say you're doing a stencil and you see how I'm going back and forth just to thicken that up. And that's all I do. I think you're getting, are you picking up what I'm putting down? Mod Podge is delicious, delicious, and they have some new products coming out, which I'm so excited to show you about, but um, I know a lot of us have Mod Podge, and this is just matte, but you can use whatever you Mod Podge you have if you have gloss. It'll work well, but you see how I'm doing? Well, I don't know how far I can go over here because I'm kind of, I kind of, Put baby in a corner if you know what I'm saying. Let me know down below if you get the reference. And then I'm going to give you one more tip and then we're done. I won't bother you any longer. Well, no, that's not true. I think I have another video to put up because yesterday it wouldn't upload. Okay. So anyway, you see how we got that going on. Now, if you want to be fancy, you can go back and you can connect it all. So when you pull it up, See how we have a little connections going on there. We can connect it here. Just connect it in places, you know, like that. I'll obviously let this dry now that I did all this because I don't like wasting. But you see how we can connect it? Um, maybe you want the B thicker so you can just go back in. I mean, so think about what you can make, how much fun that would be. Okay, so then I put, put your thing in water so it cleans up. You can do dots. You can do all oh, the stuff you can do. Okay. So you see this. Now what I like to do, you cannot, I mean, you can dry this if you have a hair dryer or whatever. And I use a heat gun. Um, and all I do is 
You want to leave it dry overnight. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, but what I like to do is just make it tacky. So what I'll do is kind of just go over this a little bit. And it'll make it a little tacky on top. You'll see it go a little matte if it's matte, if it's a matte glue or if it's a gloss. And that just helps up the, um, speeds up the drying process. And what I'll do is in my video tomorrow, I will uh, use this in a, in a page, on a page, just to show you. Now I did this bigger than I probably normally would, just so you can really see it. Cause I know a lot of you have problems seeing, um, you know, some things like if you're on your cell phones watching which I am the same way. I get it. So I thought, you know, I try to do things bigger. So, oh God, Kel. So you see what I'm saying. So this will dry and then you peel it off and you're good. I like to leave this overnight because um, it just really makes sure that it's dry, especially these thicker parts. Now, what I do is if I, I'll use this because I used my brush in there. You see like right here, I want that little boopy a little bit more. So I will take a pointy thing or the back of a paintbrush and I'll go in and you can go in and design, but you can see how it's already drying. So I'm just going to kind of push it a little bit. I should have done this before I uh, started drying it, but hey, now you know what not to do. And I just make it a little thinner in there so when it dries, I can um, lift it and it will come off. It'll be very thin. I just keep wiping your. And you see how it's starting to get a little bigger. That's what she said. And that's all you'll do. And now I'm using my brush because it like sucks up. You know, and the bigger the brush, the faster. Of course, I picked the smallest brush ever because that's just how I roll. And you'll see when it dries, it's very thin, comes right out and uh, not a big deal. And I'm just going to push everything this way right now. Yeah. And you see? So mistakes can be fixed. And sometimes it just, you know, rolls that way, right? So, yeah. So, I think you're seeing what I'm saying. And, yeah. So, that's it. Just a quick few-minute video. Well, let me know what you guys think down below. And this is a great way to start. Everybody has Mod Podge or what have you. And, you know, you can really, really... Um, now, this one's been dry for a while. And it's like plastic. This one's from yesterday and you can hear it's not all the way all the way done yet so you know you'll know and like I said this one's gonna be thin and I don't care that it's busted right there but I can also you know put this back down and put some glue there and glue that together and then nobody you know what I mean nobody knows but me so if you enjoyed this video please leave me a thumbs up I'd appreciate it and please share me everywhere uh, down below is some new merch that I am, um, I have with some of my artwork, uh, you know, if you're interested, there's phone cases and shirts and tote bags and socks and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so I'm work, that's a work in progress as well as my Etsy and, uh, subscribe if you just found me and would like to see more of my videos for all you new mixed media and art journalists out there asking me, uh, questions and to show things that is coming up. And, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.